All right, check it out. Back it up. Here we go. Oh, oh yes. Oh, back to business as usual. All right. <laughs> I was hiding. <laughs> okay, so the topic for today's video is going to be one of the probably more frequently asked questions of hey what do i do if my support is not playing well any version of that anywhere from you know he's inting he's auto failed he's having a bad day whatever what do you do when you're well you know, i feel like i can't do anything when my support screws up what do i do all right and i'm going to give you the secret that you guys all I've been wanting to know, you know, the one secret that I hope you guys win every losing lane. And the answer is stop making things worse, right? So here's the idea is that, you know, you support, okay, they might make a mistake and then you guys are losing. It doesn't mean you guys have to FF15, okay? Like you can make sure that things don't get worse. And by doing so, maximize your chances of some kind of comeback in the sense of, a good play will happen all right so this is a perfect <laughs> when i had this game i was like all right i'm gonna make a video off this game and uh you know i don't want to throw like flame or shade or whatever but we're gonna use this guy as an example i'm sorry without anyone uh if he watches this video uh let's just say let's just say i hope he doesn't watch this video okay anyways um so the most important thing you need to remember is this repeat after me damage control do not make things worse so let's say you have a Nami, you're trying to trade, she wastes her W, her wave, and you try and trade anyways, you screwed up, okay? You made things worse. That's called making things worse, all right? So uh, to make this video kind of um, suitable for people who want to watch short video versus long video, uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, start with the heavy examples first, right? So the ones that made the most difference in this game, I'm going to show you how I play these situations that were... Uh, not favored for us and then for those who want to see the whole laning phase which i think is probably more beneficial um we're going to watch the whole laning phase afterwards all right so let's start with the first clip right so this is the first clip um here we have some kind of gank happening right um you know we're, we're it's good to note that it's not this 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 gank doesn't work you know not because of our just because of our support because you know a bunch of team-wide failures um but in essence this gank ends up not working right and, um, you know, most people, when you see this, everyone's like, oh, okay, yeah, let's just fight. Let's just keep going. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong here. Like, it's 4v4, let's go. And here's the problem is that, yo, you got some problems here, right? You know, Annie fucked up her stun, Trundle's trapped, Pike missed hook. Everything's fucked, all right? You guys gotta leave. You gotta damage control. It's doomed. Let's try and kite it out. Let's get out, right? And so if you watch, I spam back ping, and, you know, okay, Trundle's stuck. There is literally nothing we could do. Absolutely nothing. And there's no stun, even though she has ulti. Boom, nothing you can do here. Pike has no Q, can't do anything. Me, I, I mean, I press W, I guess, right? So we have we, we have nothing to do here. Most people would just keep going. You just, all four people die is doomed. You get, they get Infernal Dragon. But if you don't make things worse and you stay alive and you cut your losses, you can actually, you know, maybe get this wave, stop the Infernal Dragon if Annie charges her stun, right? We have a lot of options here. So don't make things worse, right? Let's back off. And, you know, things will be fine, right? Or at least a lot better than everyone else are dying, right? Everyone dying would be probably the worst case scenario for sure. And actually, it's funny because it's a common scenario. Not even just worst case, but also a frequent scenario. It's your job. You know, nothing happens on your... Nothing happens without you knowing about it. And see, you know, because we all didn't die, we can come back for some kind of potential gank. Look at this, right? And, you know, it seems simple. It seems such a simple thing. Hey, you know... Just, don't do anything, right? Just AFK. Uh, it's not that. It's, it's recognizing when something is bad and we need to get out and come back versus something is good, we can keep going, right? That's the distinction between not doing anything and just letting things fall into your lap and controlling the situation, having control of the situation. You have control over these situations, whether you know it or not. Check it out. You know, the instant I saw this going south, what did I do? Check it out. Let me, let me, let me let's be mine. Okay, right here. All right, let me give it a, give it a few seconds, but... um. 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we can... Oh, this doesn't look good. First thing I did, you see that? Back pain. We're out. Everyone out, right? And oftentimes, uh, uh, not to like pick out any students of mine or anything like that, when we see examples of theirs, right, you often see them uh, pinging forwards, right? Let's like, let's keep going. Or even, you know, um, they're the ones who start stuff or make it worse, right? You you want to, that's actually the common response is make it worse, okay? You need to make sure 
you need to when in doubt Make sure things don't get worse. Kite things out. When in doubt, kite it out. Okay, um, and this is the second clip. This is the second clip. Probably the other important, uh, other important time in this in this uh, laning phase where things didn't go so well. And uh, here it is, a little pike focused, right? So we have a gain coming in, right? He goes for an E flash, unsuccessful because we need to aim vain. Otherwise, we're gonna have a problem. So let's watch what happens. And you know, misses hook. You know, we got we got we got problems up the wazoo. Um, but notice what I did, all right? It was very subtle and it was very quick, but notice what I did, all right? Um, sorry, I'm backing up a little bit too far, but uh, see, the instant I see this go sideways, we can't face tank this guy. There's no way. I can't face tank this vein. All right? She's going to dodge my W. We started at a disadvantage. She has a cut last. We got, we got all sorts of problems here. Or maybe it's not completely doomed, but it doesn't very, look very clean. We need to back up, right? This is, first thing to do is back up. We need, to, we need to make sure this doesn't go south. And then we come back in when things are okay. You see that? We didn't make things worse, which is just straight up suiciding because we think we have a gang coming, Pike missed everything, doesn't matter, dies the vein, and then now they 2v3 us and we got a problem with Ramus, right? No, we back up, reassess the situation, gain as much control as back, you know, gain as much control as we can, right? Maybe things are under our control, and then we can proceed if we think we can find something here, which, in fact, we can, right? It's very much... You know, the secret isn't really uh, that big of a secret. It's just making sure you don't throw your opportunity to come back. That's it. That's it. Your teammate throws, don't throw right after them. How many times have you seen people run it down one by one into a team fight, defending inhibitor or a tower, and the whole game collapses, all right? You don't want to be in that chain. You want to stop that chain where you are, okay? So that's exactly what you're doing. Whenever a teammate makes a mistake, you're there to recover it. Damage control. You see this? Recovered. I would call this recovered, right? Even though Pike had a huge screw up, we found an opportunity because, you know, Vayne screwed up. Vayne went in a little bit too far and Trundle found some kind of damage on her, right? So, for people who wanted a quick and easy um, video, this is the end. Otherwise, we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to analyze what happens in these small scenarios where people don't die, right? How do we, how do we keep control um, in, in smaller scenarios? Let's say Mrs. Hook, right? Or not me, Mrs. Wave, whatever. Um, we're gonna see how you're gonna see how I do damage control, right? In these small, smaller senses of you know pushing and or um, you know HP leads and that kind of stuff, right? So you you'll see me here. Uh, I'm not really gonna try. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything unless Pike lands a hook, and uh, that goes double for an auto filled first time Pike, right? Which is in fact he was first time Pike at the. <laughs> Uh, uh, during this game or at the at the recording of this game. He was first time autofill pike. He was an AD main. So, um, so yeah, the things he were doing, it didn't quite make sense, right? So, you know, the instant he misses hook, we're not doing anything, right? You saw me walk up. Maybe we can follow up. He misses, we're out. Don't make it worse. You don't fight if he misses hook, right? It's very, seems very simple, but it's very hard to do because most people are concentrated on what they're trying to do in lane, like CS, right? You need to pay attention to what your support is doing, especially if they're doing something you think is not good, right? So, so far he mistook, we back up, right? And uh, he can't do anything. Okay, let's not try Let's not try and interact, right? You see how I am staying at maximum range trying to farm slash push. I'm not, I'm not really trying to interact at all. Yo, I'm happy if we get out of this lane and no one dies. Uh, you know, we're the ones at a disadvantage with uh, with auto field support, right? So we need to make sure there are no disasters in this lane, and then we can find an opportunity ourselves, right? So, I mean, we just we just slowly go through this lane phase. It'll probably be like 15 minutes long, 10 minutes long. But spoilers at the end, we come out with a lead with zero deaths, and in fact, found some nice opportunities for us, right? So, when he's watching, you know, is everything's very calm. You'll notice is I'm not doing anything crazy, and that's a, a, an important to no important thing to note. If your support is throwing lane. It's not guaranteed that you can save it, right? You just need to make things make sure things don't get worse, okay? So every any any kind of crazy stuff we're doing, like maybe trying to trade with her, is very clean. Nothing can go wrong. Hopefully speaking. Oh, okay. I got actually I got dumped on there. Right? That was really bad. If you want to know what happened there, it was just turning around. I have no range minions, and they're two v wanting me, right? With Jana Shield, Jana W. Um, I did, I should not have turned around, but uh, yeah, that's uh. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? But uh, just uh, see what's going on here. Okay, he's getting hit. Okay, you notice I'm not trying to do anything. I'm not trying to fight or anything, right? He gets hit. He gets hit, right? I can't save that. So don't make things worse by trying to fight because you're you're gonna get beat up. Hundred percent, you're gonna lose that. Um, it's very much kind of knowing when to pick your battles, right? You know, you know, your teammate gives you a losing battle. Okay, you know, you can choose to not fight. You actually have that choice a lot of times. It's honestly 
not much to okay here we go this is i just want to show you some examples here right so okay nice hook nice try you know there's nothing really to be found there you know we're not going to force the engage there right it's very important remember do you know what looks good and what does not look good right and if you judge it to not be good do not feel pressured to force it right look at this this is look good maybe i can fire a w maybe i walk up and fight I didn't know in the moment, so it wasn't clean. We didn't do it, right? You might get flamed by like some D4. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever rank you guys are at, you're going to get, oh my God, why didn't you follow up on this? No. No, you mute them. They don't know what they're smoking, okay? Um, you need to make sure that everything you do has zero mistakes. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're basically shooting yourself in the foot if you try and do something and you don't know if it works, right? Unless you're a new player, then try out a bunch of things. I don't know what works, but... You know what I mean, right? Those supports who say, why don't you go in, you mute them, you watch the VOD afterwards and see if you were right or if they were right, right? But don't argue in the middle of a game. Don't type to them. Like, you know, you assume you're right during the game, right? So, yeah, don't do anything crazy. You know, he's like charging up hook. <laughs> There's nothing to do, right? <laughs> right? It looks like I'm just like, oh, it's the feels bad, man, right? We're just uh, making sure we, we everything is okay, right? Don't do anything crazy, right? You're losing? That's fine. Lose with grace, as some might say, right? This guy has literally been able, able to do anything. This is the first this is the first clip example. Um, I mean, we're just, we're just fast forward. This is the Annie coming in. We kill them, right? That's our opportunity. Boom. Because we didn't lose so much HP in the laning phase, even though he wasn't a presence in lane. And, you know, it was basically... We, we kept it calm and clean. Up until this point, we found an opportunity. Got to kill. Boom. We won lane. Right? We won lane without a support. I'm serious. How'd you do that? I don't know. Like, you can even watch this anti roam. He didn't contribute anything into this anti roam. Uh, not that he he should have, even though, you know, he should. But he he, he kind of didn't contribute anything, right? <laughs> uh, no flame, no flame. But if you notice, it's literally one auto attack, right? So, we won lane without a support. And yes, it was a roam from mid lane. But that was only because we weren't low for whatever reason, right? We, we maximized our opportunities to make sure that she could pull this off, right? So let's fast forward. We base, we come back. And it's gonna be the same story. I'm serious. It's like it's just literally one v two. This whole lane phase. Like he's charging up hook. Okay, I'm getting a little bit triggered after watching this a second time. But like you know, he's charging up hook. But there's like five minions here, yo. Like what are you? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, we're getting a little off topic. But you know what I mean, right? You you've seen these supports before. So what do you do when you see it? You make sure things don't get worse. Okay. Like if it sounds repetitive, it's because it is. It's literally the same thing every time. They make a mistake. You make sure it doesn't get worse. They make a mistake. You make sure it doesn't get worse, okay? That's that's literally the game in a nutshell in solo queue, is when something bad happens, stop it from getting worse. I'm serious. Like, that's half the game right there. Um, as an ADC, at least, right? For other, I mean, for League in general, that's, that's a general rule, but ADC especially, because it can easily get a lot worse if you try and do something stupid, right? Um, yeah. Oftentimes, you know, the, the right move is not making a move. Or... Not really making, not really not making a move, but rather, um, not uh, rather you know being being more quote unquote passive, right? So, okay, we have some kind of um, I don't know why he took that CS, but he thought he had a he probably thought he had a targets or something. We're just chilling out here, right? Literally zero interaction. Like the only interaction you see me do with them was level three or level two when I just hit Vayne when she wanted a minion, and every and they were they're running into my range minions. That's the other time. This this fight can't do anything, right? So. You play, you play like it's 1v2, right? Check this out. Like, what, why is he charging up this hook? Taking a million damage. You see what I'm doing? I'm literally just chilling out. I'm like, whatever, man. All right? I need to make sure it ain't doomed. And if you can't get some CS, like me right now, if you can't get this, it's okay, right? It's not meant to be sometimes. Um, here, we're looking for a good trade on Janna. Like, if you can find stuff like this is great. Um, but it really is just waiting for what you think is good. Oh, nice try. I didn't really do anything. There's no no real way to follow up on that, to be quite honest. So it's good. And then uh, here comes our here comes our gank. We we talked about this earlier. That's forward. And uh, oh, we can push and then uh, go home. You guys know this already. Standard standard theory. Okay. Back. To, I mean, back. To, this is literally back to business as usual. Am I wrong? Look at this. Alright, check it out. Back it up. Here we go. Oh oh yes. Oh, back to business as usual. All right. <laughs> Dude, I, for I totally forgot this happened. Dude, this guy was like, dude, I don't know, man. He thought he was playing a normals game or something. But um, this is real. I mean, like, you know, even if you hit her, check it out. Even, even though he hit her, like, what? His E's not going to reach her, right? So he's clearly first-time Pike. 
I, I said I wasn't gonna flame. Okay, a little bit of flame, right? So <laughs> it doesn't make sense, right? So you guys, I mean, you guys tell me what do I do if my support plays bad? I don't have a support, so watch this video and tell me what I did and copy the same thing or see if you can see some inspiration from these ideas, right? Like literally it does not exist, right? Um, the limit does not exist. Anyone get that reference? Anyways, let's let's move on. But yeah, you see you see what's going on here, right? You just we're just chilling out. No, don't do anything crazy, right? And when your opportunity comes, because you haven't been inting this whole time with your support and your full HP and you have your items and you capitalized on opportunities earlier, this is free. That's what the game is, is you're you're biding your time until the opportune moment. Hard winning. You want decisive wins. Okay? If your support is missing abilities, that's not decisive, right? That's very muddy slash doom. That's the opposite of decisive. Decisive loss, we would say, right? Looking for decisive wins. So you see the, the game-changing moments in this lane have been they they are pushing for too much and we punish, right? And their their victories have been my support misses all his skill shots and they are trying to trying to harass me or something like that, right? So who won the the the, the side that uh, uh, did their their victory better? If that made any make, makes any sense, the side that didn't screw up more, right? It's all very simple. They just pushing for no reason, and uh, they I mean they're trying they're trying to do something when Annie's clearly roaming and they just die, right? And then the other time was you know a gank is happening and they <laughs> the gank didn't work, so they decided to come back and any ganked again, right? It's, it's all very much you know they played the situations incorrectly. Now all of a sudden, we won lane. You see this? It's not bad. 9 CS a minute. That's not bad, right? For someone who had to lane 1v2. I have 4 assists and a kill. We end up winning this game pretty hard. But you see how literally just by doing this over and over and over and over and over again. And this by this, I mean making sure things don't get worse. You will maximize your opportunities to find a play. Maximize your chances. It's not guarantee a way to win. It's you will maximize your chances of winning. And in this game, if you are anywhere below challenger, I, there's pretty much a guarantee you'll find a way in because um, people will make mistakes all the time. I mean, look at yourself for an example. Um, how many times have you had a lead? You've had a lead and you threw somehow. Everyone has done it every day. Okay. So you are just waiting to capitalize on that fact by making sure you don't throw yourself, right? So teammate throws, don't throw and you will find a way into the game, all right? So yeah, um, I hope that this helped. If there is anything to take away from this video, it's damage control when something goes wrong, and it's not like damage control, damage control a little bit. It's like we get out, and we get out now, all right? Don't make things worse. Um, I think if you guys can um, kind of implement this in your games, you guys are going to do a lot better, a lot, random, a lot less random deaths. This happens when stuff like... Your teammate starts to fight, you go help. It was doomed in the first place. Or teammate gets caught, you go help. Or anything stupid like that, right? Like uh, we're trying to defend mid tower, even though your whole team is dead. You know, I've seen, I've seen that one before. I've done that one before, right? So, um, kind of, I think take this advice to heart. If there is a secret magical tip for how to win lane when your support is not very good, I mean, this is probably it, right? This is the best I can come up with. So yeah, let me know um, what you guys thought and uh, uh, try this out in your games. Uh, I hope you guys try this out in your games. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So um, is this the video you guys were looking for? Or is this not the video you guys were looking for? Did I miss something? Um, let me know in the comments. So yeah, have a good night. I also want to give a shout out to Quells, Blue Screen, and New Cool Start. Um, thank you guys for supporting me. And, and thank you to everyone else at Patreon and Twitch. All my uh, subs on Twitch are... Um, are awesome too and uh if you don't know what twitch is or if you don't know that i stream on twitch i i stream live gameplay on twitch and my coaching sessions so um if you are interested definitely check it out slash feel free to subscribe with your free twitch prime if you have amazon prime you can sub for free every month just so you know um but yeah if you guys enjoy my content i highly suggest you guys to check it out otherwise um i think that's really it for me uh yeah i think i'm gonna go I'm gonna go now so thanks for watching